How was that? How was camping? It was great. Yeah. Um, Is something you tell us? Um, no, actually, <laughs> you... Mike's a retard. <laughs> <laughs> Was there no back? So was I told no Mike that was broke. Uh-huh. I told Mike like twice before we went camping. I said, "Make sure you have all your shit. Make sure everything's together." I was like so meticulous. I was like, "I'm not forgetting fucking anything." I still forgot like a hoodie, but and my it's fishing hard. license. It, but like we were only like 30 minutes away, so yeah. it wasn't it wasn't terrible. So like we get there, and I had a smaller setup. So like I was like, "Mike, I'll put my spot over here in this corner, and you can set your stuff up." Yeah. That way we know how much space gets taken because my tent should take like two minutes. Yeah. And it did. And then Mike dumps his tent out and it's got no poles. <laughs> so he's like, oh, this must have been the tent that didn't have any poles. Uh oh. So cue Mike number two. <laughs> <laughs> Mike dumps his tent out. It's from his dad. It's full of sand. <laughs> like, he, there's sand everywhere. I'm like, so Mike, let's pick up your tent. We'll shake the <laughs> sand out. And I was like, where are your poles? Where are my poles? <laughs> Mike had to go buy a tent. <laughs> Good call. That's why, that's Good. why that tent looked nice. <laughs> Good call. That's so it funny. You're so... like, yeah, Mike, uh, you just bought a tent. <laughs> it was... <laughs> that's so like, funny. He it... came back. I had, like, everything set up. I had a campfire going. I was ready to go. And Mike served <laughs> dealing with his tent. <laughs> did you help him out with his tent? I had to. He bought a bigger tent than I did. Uh. And uh, so Mike doesn't wake up. Well, it's not changed. When, when is, I was about since, to say, when has that since, changed? Since, since we were in high school, it has not changed. Tyler, we've known I threw 16 pine years. Cones. <laughs> I threw pine cones. I threw little sticks. I threw a Maybe. couple stones. I shook his tent. And he didn't wake up? <laughs> that no. motherfucker did not wake up until Maybe. 9 o'clock. Maybe he was playing possum. Maybe he was waiting for a bear to come up. I don't know. And he could, Just, like... Choke it out. Six, like 16 the first, years and you thought he would, he thought he would change his The first his night was great, baby. like... It, um, except for, like, the fire part. Like, we bought, like, firewood at Home Depot, and I'm like, yeah, grab, like, three bundles at Elastis. Mm-hmm. No, three bundles lasted us, like, two hours. That firewood, like... <laughs> was so fat. Was it so dry? God, it was so dry. And it was so... It was, and it wasn't, like, real firewood. It was, like, the scraps you get from the lumber yard. Oh, uh, uh, so you knew it was bad. I got... We got it, and I'm like... And I was looking at it, and I'm like, oh, fuck, this is scraps you get from the lumber yard. This is not going to be good. So what happened then? So, well, when the fire went out, we went to bed. And uh, the first night was great because there was, like, nobody. So it was, like, dead quiet. Just crickets, trees. It was weird. There was no birds. Like, I didn't see a single fucking squirrel. Except for Mike's. I didn't hear any birds. Except for Mike's birds. <laughs> no, he wasn't doing that. He wasn't making the, the tweet-tweet noises. He did that in the restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Mike does this weird tweety-tweet thing. Mike can throw it. Mike could throw Mike could throw a bird noise across the room. Really? Yeah. It's, yeah. How, how? That's pretty impressive. Yeah. He he does a he can, he does a really good bird voice thing. How do, but, you, uh, how do you throw a bird voice? I don't know. Ask Mike. I don't know. I don't know how he does it. Michael. <laughs> Mike. Mike. Please, Mike. Just call in. Mm. Call in the podcast. Send, send us an email to the podcast. Are we recording? Which is, yeah, I've recorded most okay. of this. Okay. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, I've recorded most of this. <laughs> but then, like. And then didn't I, introduce nothing. <laughs> I learned that he doesn't like pop off fruit. What is that? So like how many how many times are you gonna find that out? What is that though? Uh pop off fruit is like a, a little like it looks like a green potato. Um it, it grows on trees like the pop is like the furthest P A P A P A W like pa like cat's paw or Oh paw. Got pawpaw. you. Pop pop plant. Yeah. Yeah, so like Ew. It's the furthest northern tropical fruit that, that grows. Um, it tastes like a banana and a mango kind of mixed. Are you serious? It's freaking delicious. It looks um, gross. But like, uh, a lot of people will take it and like make banana bread out of it. Oh, so say the, I've heard of banana the bread out of it. problem with pawpaws is that like you have after you like get them and they ripen, you have like three days and they're done. If you can't have it, yeah, they go bad. Fast. They go bad really fast. They sell them at the supermarket. No, that's why. How do you get them? How do you? You have to have to know where a pawpaw tree is that is producing fruit. Um, so like, in but, can, the, but I can part, grow it in my backyard, right? Yeah. So like, you, you the trick is that you got to get like, because trees still work like flowers do. Like you have a male flower and a female flower. So they gotta fuck. They gotta fuck. <laughs> but I, I so, thought trees like, were hermaphroditic. No, they still gotta have like a bee pollinate them. <laughs> 
Could I be the B? You could be the B, man. Like, buzz, buzz. I mean, couldn't you just buy Polly? Jerry just... Seinfeld was a B. And, I mean, he just, <laughs> apolog- he just apologized for the sexual tension that, that B had with that human. Did you know, a little fun fact about bees, that the male honeybee, when it ejaculates, it instantly dies? Did you do a fun fact about corn moths? I don't even know what they are. There were little moths that hide in corn. corn? <laughs> so, they, the, the females do none of the gathering. They go and hide and continuously lay eggs and do all that stuff while the males stupidly go out and die. <laughs> Hi, my name is Elijah. <laughs> Ken's not here. I'm in charge of the board. It's going to be a good We've time. Already gone off the rails. <laughs> Ken's not here for the first time. I'm so confused because he's over here. And to Elijah's right, my left, <laughs> your front. My no, no, maybe. Yeah, no. The front of you is facing me. Is it though? Is my full front? Your north. Facing you? Your north is my full front in the middle of this trifecta. Your northwest is, is facing me. me. <laughs> Luis Angel Ortiz. I'm Tyler. And we're here on Halloween month. Woo! Uh, spooky, spooky. Scary, the, scary time. The spookiest of the uh, we spookiest. Have, we haven't really done any scary movies. Yes, we have. Scooby-Doo <laughs> in Zombie Island, please. Sco- Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. I'm man. really sad that I missed that. <laughs> Look at all those zombies. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. We had Harrison. <laughs> so, we we might, applesauce. <laughs> we might have guest host next uh, episode. Lewis is in charge of that movie, too. So what, what movie? Can't tell you yet. Can't buddy. tell me That's yet. at the end of the podcast. Come on. I gotta wait that yes. long? The end of the movie is... We, we, we've, miraculous, oh. we've, we've switched around this. Alright, well, time again. for robot punches, because I want to hear Lewis's movie. <laughs> Skip Tyler's <laughs> movie altogether. Because no one knew exactly what Tyler wanted at the end of the day, <laughs> until the end of it. What movie was I saying? I Bustin makes me feel good. Oh, good. Troll Hunter. You said, but first you first said, I troll, said Troll, which is a real movie. It too. is. And I, I looked up like, no, this is not the movie I want. This might actually scare me. <laughs> and then, and then you said Troll Hunter. Yeah, and, and that's I what like, I meant. Oh, Troll Hunter is a good movie. Is that- troll is a bad puppet movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it might actually scare me too because I'm a little bitch about horror movies. Troll is about a wicked troll king in search of a mis- myth- mystical ring that will transform him into human form, invades a San Francisco apartment wait, complex wait, the wait. Little kids. where a powerful witch lives. We watched this. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Did Roof Tracks do a thing with that? No. no. I've watched this. You've watched Troll? I've watched Troll. Oh, there you that go. That ball bouncing? Uh-huh. That just happened? Yeah. I, I remember that now. Yeah, the, the little girl had a brother, and like the, the shit just hit the fan. Is it Troll Hunters? It, no, troll Hunters. Troll, troll is the movie we're talking it's, about it's now. It's really bad. Troll Hunter. Troll Hunter is that movie. I feel like it's troll... the, the, fa- the fake documentary. Yeah. I, I, I thought little... Troll Hunter was that movie... Uh... A group of students investigate. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's it's, it's it's a fake documentary about an actual troll hunter. Oh, is he, it good? Yeah, I really like troll hunter. Is it funny? It's not funny. It's just really it's it, they take it seriously. Oh, it's like the Cloverfield esque yeah. kind of thing. It's, I like Cloverfield. It's kind of like it's kind of like the Blair Witch Project and all that where it's very. I've never watched it. The Blair Witch Project stuff. So, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but like, Troll Hunters is good. Oh, Troll Hunters great. <laughs> Blair Witch documentary, stupid. Well, that's no Blair Troll Witch Hunters documentary, great. Blair Witch, Blair Witch is Blair Witch is four teenagers going hoo hoo with a camera. Whoa, whoa, the, the original the or the remake? The original. The remake well, I, is garbage well, I, too. <sighs> but I just love, I just love that we should make a shirt that says, <laughs> it says, Blair Witch. Dumb. Agreed. Troll <laughs> Hunter. Great. Awesome. <laughs> I, I would win. <laughs> I, I, hang on. Before we get too far here, I feel so out of place. I'm the only one without a beer. But get a beer. Then get a beer. I was going to ask Lewis if he could reach over and be a kind gentleman. What would you like? They just re released a Yingling Hershey Porter. Everyone what you, drink what it. Do, what did you have? Yingling with? Hershey Porter. What did you have? Yingling with? Hershey Porter. Yingling Hershey Porter. There's, there's Hershey Guinness, there's Guinness and other cans. I mean, in I feel like this sounds like a ton of The Yingling. Yeah. There's a oh, piss, what piss. I said? What I said? You son of a bitch. There's literally, there's, there's literally a ton of beer in there. All right. Can you say this fast three times? Yingling Hershey Porter. But no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Make it fun of me. <laughs> yeah. Yingling Hershey Porter. <laughs> Gosh. All right. So. But, so Tyler decided to take us back to 
childhood times for me, and, at least. And, like, I decided I was going to do another movie in the middle of movies. I know, like, because well, that's just what you do. I told you. I was like, I could do the first one. And this wasn't the one where Rick Moranis runs around screaming bear in the middle of New York City. No. I couldn't remember which one are that the, was. Are you the gatekeeper? That's the first one, man. Ever. I couldn't. I couldn't remember which one that was. Uh, and I, I was are like, you the key master? But why is Rick Moranis so popular amongst people? Because uh, Rick Moranis is Rick Moranis is great. Did you see him in Spaceballs? What makes him great? He's funny. He's very charismatic. I think. Mm-hmm. Like one, he's got like the nerdy dude down really good. He's he, he he's extremely Two, talented. I think person. he's a great comedian. Yeah. His comedy is great. Does he have stand-up? I don't know if he has stand-up, but I just know that most of the movies that he's done are comedies. And they're all really funny. Was he on SNL? Honey, yeah. who shrunk the kids? What, what, shrunk was the his kids? Big, what was his big break? Ghostbusters, probably. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Uh, Little Shop of Horrors. He's done so much. Yeah, and you the, got. I don't know when Spaceballs came Spaceballs. out. Spaceballs. But if he's so popular, why? Why do he retire? Why do I not care for him? Because you're weird. Yeah, you you are kind of a weird person. You're the only person that I was like, I picked a movie I'm pretty sure everyone's going to love, and then there's Lewis and goes, I hate it. What movie was it? Ghostbusters! Oh, yeah, I don't like Ghostbusters. What? Yeah. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> I don't. Ghostbusters was my jam. We do, we're, By the way, we're not doing Ghostbusters. We're doing Ghostbusters 2. Two. So let's get the plot synopsis out of the way. The discovery of a massive river of ectoplasm and a resurgence of, spe- of spectral activity allows the staff of the Ghostbusters to revive the business. And Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Sigourney Weaver, Harold Ramis, R.I.P. Um, Rick Moranis, Ernie Hudson, Annie Potts. Why is... Oh, there's more than one black and white picture. Okay. I was like, why yeah. is Rick Moranis is in black and white? <laughs> <laughs> was there ever a third Ghostbusters? There's the Lady Ghostbusters. That's the Lady the Ghostbusters. And then but I there, guess was not a, there was not a third one with them. Oh. But the next one, Ghostbusters Afterlife, everybody's coming back. Except for some, isn't one of them actually dead? Harold Ramis is dead. Who's that? Egon. Who's that? Did you not watch Ghostbusters? <laughs> I watched the cartoon, which is what I was going to talk about. Oh, God. Which cartoon? The Next Gen. The, Egon is the leader of the Next Gen team. I know next gen Ghostbusters bite me. <laughs> Egon is the older gentleman that runs the next gen Ghostbusters. <laughs> I broke his brain by knowing that. No, it's this. Okay, no. So it's like this guy. Yes, Harold Ramis. The skinny guy with the glasses. The skinny guy with the glasses. Yeah. No, Egon. I love how you can watch the movie. You brought shame. <laughs> To this podcast. I like the cartoon. No, you like the Next Generation cartoon. There is a cartoon before this one that is 50 times better. It didn't have the CGI. The real ghost. But yeah, it didn't have CGI. It was made in like the 80s. <laughs> I'm a 90s baby. I have, I have animation cells from that show. I have two I animation it. cells. I have the real Ghostbusters, that one right there. Yeah. And then there's Slimer over there. Way over there. On the by the shelf. And Turbo Man. Turbo Man. <laughs> Is this the one where they're on the tower? The Statue of Liberty? The Statue of Liberty. <laughs> we just talked about this <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't with you. Ivan Reitman directed this movie. Alright. We went over the plot synopsis, right? We did. Okay, this is a train wreck. Uh, houses and train wreck. <laughs> houses. The train wreck already happened when he said he didn't watch the movie. But I'm here. <laughs> but he's here. It's spirit. <laughs> what? What? You know what I mean? How? Would you have me not be here at all and be like? I no, because nobody not, would have handed me a beer. Exactly. You're, you're not helping with the feeding of lines for helping of this. I. This is actually the first Ghostbusters movie I watched. And I watched it in so many pieces. I saw this movie... Like, I always remember this movie as the the movie where the baby gets taken by the bathtub. But that actually doesn't happen. (laughs) Gets taken by the bathtub. (laughs) The the, The bathtub tries to take the baby, but it fails. And I was like... I I remember this scene being so much longer. It might have just been me as a kid being like... 
Sigourney Weaver is pretty, but who knows? <laughs> See, I'm not a fan of perms. It, like, the the pretty level immediately disappears when the perm happens. What is a perm? <laughs> when the women burn their hair. Oh. Uh, I thought perms were when they had them in curls. Sort of, yes. Isn't it like where they, they keep it scrunched in for a while? Yeah, and they put it in a thing and you yeah. go into the hairdresser salon and it just smells like burnt hair. You're right. But it does. But the point of it is yeah. they're burning it to make it that, right? After, okay, I'm looking at the Cause painting. Because it's the 80s. It's big hair. <laughs> I'm looking at the, I remember this picture. I remember this guy. Vigo the Carpathian. Yeah. It's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Vigo is great. I love Vigo the Carpathian. For, I love I love Ghostbusters. I can't. It's a fun. It's fun it's time. so. I think it's fun. It's so much fun. It doesn't take itself too seriously. They everyone's out to have a good time, and the cast is so good. And who's your favorite Ghostbuster? Uh, Ray. All right, Lewis. So Dan Aykroyd. Only because I like if Why if I was I a asking? Ghostbuster, I would probably be Ray. I'd think uh, of the marshmallow. Grimer, isn't Grimer a, a Ghostbuster? Grimer, the Pokemon. <laughs> Whatever. Slimer. <laughs> Slimer. There we go. Yeah. Is it, is it Slimer? The big green blob. Yes. Yeah. I like him. Okay, I'll give you Slimer. <laughs> Slimer's I, dope. So I did, was one of the few people that loved Egon. Did um. Uh, Slimer show up in this movie because they made the first movie and there was a cartoon. Uh, let me check what the cartoon came out. Because it, it as it, as you like met Slimer, it was kind of like a big deal. Like it, it, like it was kind of like, oh my god, it's Slimer! <laughs> yeah, the cartoon came out in 1986. <laughs> yeah, so okay. it def so it definitely was in between that where Slimer was the Slimer was in the cartoon as like a yeah. main cast member. <laughs> yeah, so like. Yeah, they just made it seem like he fit there. Yeah, they, they he was just like there. No one really tried to capture Slimer. He just was kind of there. He was Rick Moranis' buddy at the end of Yeah, it. he's like, he don't really have a driver's license. license. <laughs> but, all right. <laughs> I gotta get to the museum. <laughs> Yo. What? I'm just thinking. Are these, I assume the ghosts are dead people, right? Ghosts are... How else do ghosts happen, yeah. Lewis? Well, I don't know. Okay, all yes. I'm saying is... <laughs> what did Slimer look like as a human? He um, was, he uh, was a blob of... <laughs> that's, who, who's that's... That, who was that mayor from New York? What was his name? <laughs> Fucking Giuliani. <laughs> okay, that's a good. I'm just, I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at Slimer. Why do I want to keep saying Grimer? I keep looking Grimer. at, I keep looking at, at Slimer. He really wants to talk yep. Pokemon. Well, S Slimer is Grimer. like Grimer. Grimer. When they evolve, Slimer turns into slop. You know why I also really like the Ghostbusters second generation? It's because they had a... I'm pretty sure they had something with either McDonald's or Burger King. They were a Happy Meal toy. They point. were a Burger King. Oh. And I got the one where like you could... It's a ball. It's got a... There's like a cup. A ball. Yeah, you a, had a cup ball. <laughs> is that what they're called? Yep, you cup the ball. <laughs> and I was just, like, give it, just give it the gold. Sure glue give in it the a, dark. Tickle, and then tickle. I try to get whatever glue in the dark outside of that ball. I'm going to check if, I'm, if I remember this or if I'm just making this up. If you're just head. hallucinating this ball. Yeah. I mean, I tried to take the goo out of Stretch Armstrong's arm. Ghostbusters, the second generation. Look, well, that's what you toys. did with Stretch Armstrong. You stretched him out long enough until you got bored you with him. You stretched him out long enough. And then you're like, what makes Stretch Armstrong stretch? And then you cut him open and this goo came out and what? you were like, well, he's what? useless now. <laughs> what makes Stretch Armstrong stretch? Yeah, that's what you did with those things. Uh -huh. What? I love the real. I loved the real Ghostbusters show. I have the complete series over there on DVD. I, I love this. I love the Ghostbusters. I dressed up as a Ghostbuster. My my wife has a great story where, it was the anime club's Halloween party, and I had a full Ghostbuster jumpsuit and the and the proton pack. Was this before you were dating or this when is you before we were dating? That's oh, awesome. No. This was kind of like... We so were, she willingly we were in went into this marriage yeah, after this. Yeah, this is... What okay. do you mean? You look great. I think that's awesome. Do you have a picture of it at all? I do. Let me see it's if somewhere. I can it up. I, I think I've seen it. Oh. Yeah. Everybody, 
Go to Elijah's Facebook. Friend request him. Give him a poke. He might poke back. Give him a poke. <laughs> Do they Send even him have gifts. pokes Me anymore? Me and Ken had a poke war going. We had like 10,000 pokes at one point. I don't know. That ended that was, really that's, quick. We're dating and, ourselves, but... And, uh, uh, <laughs> and, and send we dated him, ourselves a long time. Send him gifts, and send him gifts. And send him <laughs> gifts to, uh, to <laughs> Farmville. Oh, my God. You could throw a sheep. <laughs> oh, oh, he's throwing a sheep. So like yeah, when Facebook bill. started, you you would like poke somebody, <laughs> uh-huh. and then there was another option you could pick that it was just throw a sheep. <laughs> throw a sheep. You could throw a sheep at people. And I'm pretty sure like me and Eliza's first semester of college, all we did was throw sheep we at just each other. Sheep at each other. <laughs> <laughs> I complained that I was cold because my roommate would leave the the window open in in like upstate PA uh-huh. in like 30 degree weather. And I'd throw sheep at Elijah. <laughs> we, I'd, I'd call him to be like, I threw a sheep at you. You have thrown a sheep back. You son of a bitch. You motherfucker. Yeah, literally. I'd be like, <laughs> you better. I did not get a sheep back. Where's it'd, my it'd sheep? Be like, it'd be like 12 hours and I would be like, Tyler's dead. I didn't get a sheep. <laughs> Do you remember how big Farmville used to be? I did play Farmville, so I don't know. Oh. I tried not to give my information out on the internet a lot. Well, I didn't, you know, I didn't it's know. It's too late, dude. It's you got to sell They know who you are. Oh, I know it's too late now. They've, got pictures, of, they've got pictures of your butt. I know they got pictures of my butt. Tyler, what do they got pictures of? My butt. <laughs> well, on our OnlyFans. <laughs> on our OnlyFans, more pictures of Wait, my butt. Wait, I don't think you can be nudie on OnlyFans anymore. Yes, no, no, no. They, 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 they eliminated they can, that entirely. They eliminated that. They, they decided that was a bad business. Yeah, that was. Maybe they were just trying to keep people in check. They were like, listen. We're going to get rid of this, and they're like, oh, okay, we're going to leave. And they're like, oh, please don't. They officially decided uh, maybe, that was a Maybe they should be problem. like, your level of nastiness can only be so nasty. Okay. Can, uh, can a ghost reproduce? Can I have baby ghosts? No. No. They're dead. They're dead. Can they fuse together? They do in the first one. So that's how the that's how all this negative energy happens, and then they kind of vanish. Mm-hmm. But yeah, in the first movie, they kind of just vanished from that. Yeah, I forgot how hot Sigourney Weaver was. I love Sigourney Weaver. I met Sigourney Weaver. Yeah? She was a very nice lady. Is she tall? Elijah? She was. What? Why did your wife stay skinny and we got fat? Uh, well, I decided that. I decided to give up oh, the did you, get the did you get the picture? No, I'm scrolling back in time. So as I grow back in time, my gut decides it wants to go inside my body <laughs> well, as opposed to I hear, I hear We ba- had very triangular faces. I hear back guts. in the day, Elijah was considered the Michael Phelps of his of his class. Oh, yeah, that's not true. I heard you played in college. I heard you swam in college. I swam for two weeks in college. And uh, I heard I heard you put... Michael Phelps to shame. Mm-hmm. Why did you quit swimming in college? Because he found. Because yeah. they made me, they 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 made me either choose I had to swim or I could do the TV station, in college. So I oh, well, decided that's to dumb. do the TV station. Well, explain what do you mean. I it practices were whenever the shows were recording, so I they you could do either it. work for the TV station at the school and get better with your career that you might go into. Yeah. And or, now I'll look at you. Or you could swim. <laughs> You could have been Michael Phelps, Elijah. Yeah, I was not going to be Michael Phelps. My, well, now with this attitude you have right now, listen. This is Elijah. a lot of negative energy. It is a lot. Of the yeah. goo's going to come up. The and goo goose. is good. I love the uh, the goo runs on negative energy. Oh. and makes it makes it just explodes and like makes more ghosts. It's all I'm saying so is good. all all I'm saying is uh, your only fans song, account. No, no, no. The song is very sexual. Ghostbusters. Yes. Bust it makes you feel good. Why would you even need to say that? Because they're Ghostbusters. <laughs> I don't know. Elijah Bustin, Bustin makes me feel good. It makes me feel and good. It does make me it, feel good. Too, everybody so knows, know and I'm a hundred and ten percent sure he was talking about busting a nut. I am um, <laughs> busting sure that goo. Busting. So makes in, me in feel an effort to get us back on track here, mm-hmm. I uh, I like how through this whole movie they pretty much review it as like crazy people the whole time. Oh yeah, my favorite is when they go into the insane asylum, and they're like, no. We had a toaster we had and a we to- made it dance. <laughs> made it dance. What's up? And he looks at <laughs> And then Bill Murray just goes, I don't know them. I I I think they're all crazy. I think they're all crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It's And then they're sitting there talking at the Jerry in the beginning and Rick Moran's asked him what else. He goes, No, I think you've helped them enough. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I I got this I got this degree in night school. 
Well, hey, this happened I, at night. I used to be a cat, and now I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a dog, oh. and they helped me. And they helped me, so... That's yeah, all. That's all. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so... It's just so... I, I can't explain Ghostbusters to anybody. It's, it's a movie with some good actors. Oh, that, some good actors. Some great actors. Um, Harold Ramis is... That end up being a com- comical sort of ghost capture every time. I love I love them just destroying government property ninety percent of the time. <laughs> it's just them like, but then it's just real. But it starts off really sad because you find out that it's that the Ghostbusters are bankrupt because of helping the city. Like they were like, oh, we got sued by the entire by almost the entire city for what happened. The last time, and I'm like, dude, that sucks. That does suck. Hey, Lewis, I'm gonna help you later, but like, I might damage you, so just like, be gentle when you sue me. Yeah, just be very gentle. He wasn't listening. That, yep. <laughs> I, no, I, that I, is, I know. That was that's the, the logic. Fa- that's the face of unrecognition. <laughs> Listen, I was reading <laughs> what the synopsis happening? and more stuff about Ghostbusters 2. And so, I was, I'm very sorry. Uh-huh, you're reading, you're reading a pot synopsis of something you should have done earlier. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... You know. Maybe, Lewis... You should have watched the movie. Well, look, because uh, Bustin uh, makes me makes feel me good. feel good. I was it's just gonna be at, the name. Of I was looking at Muncher. Guys. You know who Muncher is? Nope. He's the new Grimer. Slimer. Slimer. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> or it's gonna be Grimer and Slimer. Listen. Slimer. Listen. Listen. Grimer. I, 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 Slimer. I want you to Grimer. I am a dad now, so I'm gonna not. I can't retain all all the things that you young kiddos like to watch. So I might confuse Grimer and Glimer. <laughs> Slimer. <laughs> See what I mean? You're obsessed with this thing starting with the letter G. <laughs> so you're just like it has to start with the G. It's gonna start with G. Grimer. The the entire Grimer, point of the second grapefruit? movie is about slime, and yet you Goo-goo continue dolls? to be like, it's got to be about goo. <laughs> I'm it's got to be about gravy. I apologize. How's about gra- grandiose? <laughs> Maybe glider. <laughs> Maybe it's a glider. <laughs> Let me go get some grapes. Good bar. How much was How much was the budget for this movie? The budget oh, for yeah. the movie we- was. Let me find out. I am on that thing looking. You for can do thing. it. Ken. You can do it. Ken, where are you? <laughs> Ken doesn't do this. I was ahead of Ken. That's right, Ken. I'm better. Oh! What? Yeah, yeah are... you had IMDb up. I had IMDb up and Box Office Mojo. Oh. Look at this. I'm not scrolling around. I got another page for scrolling around. Oh! Look at that. <laughs> become yeah. quite the computer whiz here, wow. sir. Yeah, look at that. Wow, my yeah, man. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and now if right. I can only teach you how to play games on a computer, well, okay. that would be great. Now, who was your tank from The Matrix? <laughs> my tank from The Matrix. Tank. Hook me in. Got it, buddy. <laughs> I can tell you that the movie made twenty nine point five million dollars opening weekend. Is that a, is that great for? What uh, it was probably about? not. <laughs> oh, is that why they didn't make a third? Back then, twenty nine million wasn't good. Nineteen eighty nine. That's got to be good. That's, that's got to be that's good. good. Let's go to let's go to the year round yeah, chart. Two quarters could buy you a penny. Two quarters could buy you a penny. <laughs> two quarters could buy you a penny. <laughs> Do the math. I'll trick you there, sucker. <laughs> 19, 19, 19, what? 1984. No, that's not. You said 1989. 1986. Oh, gosh. I've doomed us all. Ken, come back. <laughs> Someone got a little too cocky. Ken, come back. Karma. He's a bitch. Karma. There it is. 1989. Yeah. There was a time oh, frame I did say was... when we hung out when we were younger where every, every second of my day... I would do something, and then about five minutes later, Carter would, Karma would come back and beat my ass savagely. Carta. That, that, that. Speaking about Carta, Carta me another one. Oh! <laughs> Cerveso. Cerveso spoke of war. Uh, I was wrong. Whoa! 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 That's, whoa! That's my, that's my tile. By that's accidentally... Like that's a, not the Ray Parker Jr. song. 
Do 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 do. But uh, do you want me to open it for you? Uh, no, I can get it. Oh, he's a biggie you. boy. I, sh- I just that wait. fridge is not closed, sir. Yeah, that fridge is most definitely not closed. <laughs> it's closed. Oh, that's why the don't duct be an out. animal. But look, I got it now. Don't be a grimer. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> listen, yeah. that's not Slimer's name. Oh, thank God, he got it right <laughs> finally. Finally, <laughs> after all this time. It only took, it only took so long. Um, it was seventh in grand total, so yes. It probably did very well. All right. I was wrong. Aha! Uh-huh. Look who's you talking did better than wrong. it did. So Lewis is so no, that's not Lewis's movie. That's that was three men and a baby. Luke, who's wrong talking. baby movie. <laughs> now But that, I watched that one, I was good. I've never seen Luke Who's Talking. Oh, I think you'd like it. So did the cartoon come out before the show? No. The first movie came and then the cartoon and then the cartoon played the whole way through okay. until the early nineties. So and was then it was cancelled. So was Ghostbusters just like an original idea, like nobody had ever thought of it before? Like it wasn't based off like a book or... No, it's the original idea written by Egon and Ivan Reitman. Oh! Harold Ramis wrote it. I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis wrote it. Wow. Yeah. I would have loved to have been in that room. That's why why they just play off each other so well. They're so funny. Did... was there any drama amongst the actors? I, it doesn't feel not like Not really. Yeah. No. Um, and in the movie, like, they made, like, a, uh, there was a moment where, like, they were angry at each other, but it was because they were, they were uh, covered in the green goo. Purple goo. Purple goo. Yeah. If I was pink. Fuchsia. Well. Fuchsia goo. But, I mean, they were just acting in that. Where, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. weren't really, like... Oh, uh, so it was part of the story. So it wasn't like that. Yeah. Act, like, that was just the no, behind the scenes. He's, he's went to this look, behind the talking scenes. about his behind I know the what he's talking about. I'm just trying to, like, find some form of drama. I don't know. That's I don't think so, because they all seem to be loving working with each other in this movie. Okay. Like, maybe the uh, maybe the big thing is that Ernie Hudson might have wanted a bigger role because he's just there kind of, like, as the token, token African-American guy. I, he was pretty cool, wasn't what, he? What, what did he? What, what else was he in that? With? That you would know? Yeah, I don't know what Ernie Hudson has been in that you was would he, know. Was he? Was he in Police Academy? No, I think you're thinking of a different guy. I definitely am thinking of a different guy. He's in the Crow. I think he's the cop in the Crow. The cop in the Crow. The cat in the fiddle. A bedtime story read to you by Morgan Freeman. The cop in uh, the Crow. Here we are on the crow. <laughs> that was good. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Morgan, but is that thanks you? for telling me. Morgan. This is getting <laughs> worse. You I, need to stop. I know. Oh my goodness. I think he's at the door. <laughs> you think Morgan Freeman's at the door? I think Morgan Freeman's at the door. Okay. Morgan, is that you? Oh, God. Morgan! <laughs> Morgan! <laughs> Pierce Morgan! <laughs> Wouldn't like, it be hilarious if he just walked right in here right now? All of a sudden, like, you guys summoned me by you. saying my name three times. <laughs> what, how hard would... Like, do you think if we reached out to, like, just a celebrity, like, if we were like, hey, Dave Chappelle, come sit in an interview Yeah, no with one's us. coming to us. I got an interview with a celebrity. Well, okay, like... No, but I mean, like, as in, like... A not, a, not a or Ralph like, Garman. I like Ralph Garman. <laughs> just because you like <laughs> Ralph Garman. But what I'm saying have, is, like... Not to be... be, be like, like a Ben Diesel. Speak ill of a man, like... Because he, he he sounded like a great gentleman. But he's a like, family guy. He's okay. What I'm saying so is other people. But what, what I'm, I'm tra- saying, what Lewis is saying is, is there's different tiers to celebrity. Yes. Like, fine, then other people could go hunt them down. No, no, I'm not saying. I'm no, not saying no, no, no. Lewis is now in charge. I don't of know the why. Oh, you're so I'm defensive. Not, about all this right I'm now. saying is, no. do you think that there's a possibility that a top-notch A-lister? No. Would ever be like, yo, I'm randomly just going to be on the show. Nope. Well, I maybe feel, Jack Black. I feel that maybe at some point in time, if we reach the 50,000 people listening to us, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, is it, we have 50,000 people listening to us? Hell no. Like we we got like, four. 4,000? Four th- four no, better. four people. 4,000 <laughs> is, is what the algorithm tells me. It's still at 4,000? Sorry. I love when people ask me questions that I don't have an answer to. Well, don't me. answer that no, question. No, Lewis. I'm getting to the answer. We're talking about Ghostbusters, and in the middle of it, I'm going to look this up for you. Okay. I'm right here with you, buddy. Busting makes me feel, feel good. good. 
That song could pump me up, Tyler. Does that song pump you up? No. It makes me so excited. I love. No. It makes me so happy. I love Ghostbusters. No. You really don't like that song? No, I do not feel energized when I listen to Ghostbusters. I have, I have seven versions of that song. <laughs> There's a scat one. I do not have that one. You also have a song on your iPad that says, I have friends, I definitely have friends. Yeah, that's from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. <laughs> that's just a great song. <laughs> Let me tell you, when you see your friend walking down the flight of stairs by himself playing the song, there's a there's a moment where you go, "Does he have friends? <laughs> Does he right now?" <laughs> I did, cause me and Luigi went and saw that that live. So my friend went with me. Me and Luigi went and saw Crazy Ex Girlfriend live. So, for the Ghostbusters, was this like the first of its series to be a comedy? Like, horror? You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't even call it horror. Like, I don't think it's the first to be a comedy horror movie. You had Young Frankenstein way before Yeah, I was about movie. to say there's Young Frankenstein. Is there's... that with Richard Gere? <laughs> it's a Richard Gere. No, there's Evil Dead 2. There's other stuff around then. Okay. Like, yeah. comedy horror has been around. Was Young Frankenstein way before this? No, no, what's his name? Willy Wonka. You're talking about Young Frankenstein. Is the guy who played Willy Wonka, right? Mm -hmm. What's his name? Gene, Gene Wilder. Oh. Not Gene, Gene Simmons. <laughs> Kiss? Uh, what a rock and roll all night, Frankenstein. <laughs> I think you would have made a great Frankenstein. No. Gene Simmons? There is a movie. Gene Simmons would have made a great Frankenstein, yes. I watched. There's a movie I watched with Kiss in it that's called Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Amusement Park. Uh -huh. It is one of the worst pieces of shit I've ever watched. Ooh. Hello, it's hello. not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Hey! Hi! Wow. Oh, you didn't know what to do with it? There's a table upstairs. Well, you said it bring it down to you. I did? Yes. Did you get a haircut? Yes. You look did nice. Did you dye your hair Thank too? You. I did. On the <laughs> stairs, Batman is here, everybody. <laughs> On the stairs, Batman. Yeah. Why is it a Shake Shack bag? <laughs> What what did you what? get from Shake Shack? I didn't. I got Marcello's. You got Dick Shack? Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't need whoa, anything whoa, so sexual. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. Well, that's what it sounded like Lewis said. Whoa, whoa, Shake whoa. Shake Shack. Oh. Not Dick Sack. Not Dick Sack. <laughs> I dick said sack. Dick Shack, by the way, not <laughs> Dick Sack. <laughs> dick Sack. Now we, know, now we know what your mind's thinking about. I'm... All he's about back on that. He's back on that mountain with Mike. <laughs> are, you, are you breaking my back? <laughs> <laughs> there was no. <laughs> there was no back I just re-listened to the end of that podcast, and there's the three of us just going on, making up names for what Tyler and Mike were doing. On that. I hate all of you. <laughs> it's broke back Ann Hill. There was. What up? What up? Wait. What up? What? What's that? Famous line that one of them says. About, I can't quit you. I can't quit you. <laughs> Did you watch that movie with me? No, I've never watched that movie once. Well, I know what we're picking. <laughs> I'm guess what I'm not watching. <laughs> it's okay, you could just be Lewis that week. He apparently just watched the good movies. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, guys! I just didn't have. I made I made a coworker cry over that movie. What broke back Brown? Yeah, I, I, not intentionally. It sounds like you did. No, this was a meant to be. So it's one of those things when you like, I'm gonna make a joke and it just completely backfires. Seeing what's in there. And then you look like a tool in front of the cute girl, and yeah. And the pretty boy gets the girl. Did I the guess pretty boy so. get the girl? I don't. I, Did the jock get the cheerleader? I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> Did she get asked out the prom? Back to Ghostbusters. <laughs> we, we really need to finish this podcast. We're at like forty minutes. Yeah, we're doing good. We're, we gotta get to a closer an hour anyway. Yeah, I mean, look, listen. This is all filler, baby. Yo, 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 I've, got, I've only got two. I've only got two. I've only got two <laughs> news articles for the end, and we've accomplished stuff. Lewis didn't watch the fucking movie, I've so got, what the hell else are we gonna do? I've got New World to talk about. Oh, okay. Now let's robot punch this movie and not skip Lewis. That, I've been, that I kept talking about, so now I can talk about New World and. Well, why am I not allowed to give a robot punch? Because you didn't watch it. But I, but I got the. Gist all right, Lewis, you go first. I, I, all I'm saying is. In that movie, doesn't Sigourney Weaver get possessed? No. no. She 
was possessed. It's the first one. <laughs> ah, okay. If you watched the movie, you would have known this. The, she the is the gate. But she does, is the key master. Yeah, okay. She's the gatekeeper. In the first one. Yes. Yes. So she in the gets second captured one, by. Okay. But, <laughs> but in the second one, in the second one, that giant picture looked at people, right? Like the guy was talking Creepy to. Creepy dude, it. yeah. Did Rick Moranis get controlled in this one? No. No. Dan Aykroyd did. Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, that's also the, the first one. <laughs> it's when he got turned into a dog. Yes, that's what we. That's why I quoted that earlier. Okay. He got turned Glad into we a here. dog, and they helped me. And they helped me. <laughs> yeah. Look, listen. I'm just trying to be fair and. Look, I'm just trying Being to fair I'm just trying to movie. pull some shit out of my uh, ass. No, no. So I will this. give this movie. Huh. I'll wait until next podcast. <laughs> Punches. <laughs> Gozer. Dozer. Gozer is the bad guy in okay. the first one. Well, all I'm saying is I'll wait until next week. I'll, I'll watch the movie and I'll, and I'll give you my my. I'm 100 uh, gonna watch the first one. I haven't seen that um, one in years. Who wants to take bets? If Lewis is going to do this or not. Oh, he ain't going to do it. God damn, I need someone to like actually win me money. Text Ken. <laughs> no, because Ken's going to do the same thing. We're all going to say, Lewis, is okay to watch the movie? <laughs> and and then, then nobody wins money. Ah, uh, fine. Yo, <laughs> bet on me, Tyler. I was going to say Kyler. Bet, 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 bet on me, Tyler. You can't even get my name right, Lewis. Bet on it, Kyler. Good Lord. Grimer. <laughs> Grimer is talking to Kyler. <laughs> Yo, listen, I'm just getting old. Grimer. I can't you know who's getting... Old. Mike is getting old. Of course he is. He has old. gray all through his beard. He does. That's intense. Yeah, Mike's like a year older than I am. Oh, well, I'm a year old. older than you. So Mike's a year older than Elijah. No. No, Mike and I are the same age. Oh. I was going to add... I was just gonna Mike, add. Is, Mike is January, I'm February. So does that mean that gray hair is coming up your way too? Oh, it's already there probably. Oh, because you, you can't grow, you don't grow your beard, so you don't I don't grow, grow my beard. I don't think you have gray hair. You I don't know, think I've had my beard. I know I just did my hair, probably. Oh. Do you have any gray hair? Nope. Any pubes? Uh, just, a, like, I got no, one. That's the, you got one? That, that's, it's just, like right, that's just dust. <laughs> it's right, right on my nipple. You like, know what? That's it's a just sign, one little that's hair. Just, that's a sign that your body's... It's like a little ha- pigtail. Your, your body's literally out. telling you, like, yo, we're going to stop producing testosterone. Uh-oh. All right, Stephanie. Lewis. Lewis, I feel like he he wrapped it okay. up. Do you want to go? Yeah. Um. Movie's great. Uh. <laughs> I. 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 I if anyone this, comes to this podcast for information, they're sadly mistaken. <laughs> I, I liked. I picked this because I like Rick Moranis. Um, and I, I wanted to watch him yell, "Bear." repeatedly while running down the streets of New York but couldn't remember which Ghostbusters and I was like he's in both of them so I just want to I want to watch Rick Moranis because I think he's funny um and uh everyone else is pretty entertaining he gets some in this one Rick and Moranis. he does get some which is hilarious mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um gets Janine come on gets Janine and uh yeah bathtub didn't eat the baby the, I, I the creepy ghost thought that was the thing person for the longest did. time was that picture trying to get into the baby? The picture was trying to, the the Vigo yeah. was trying to come back through the baby as the baby. Okay, I remember yeah. that. Vigo was trying to take it uh, was trying to become the baby. That's why they needed the baby. Yeah, and then the entire negative energy of New York was fueling the, the slime, the slime underneath the town. And uh, through the power of love and friendship and, and a happy Statue new year and the Statue of Liberty, yeah. the day was saved. Yep. Um Four out of five robot punches. Wow. Four out of five. Ghostbusters 2 is the first Ghostbusters movie I watched. Mm. So I am going to agree with Tyler's statement and go four out of five. Because the first one is better, but this one is still a lot of fun. What would make it a five out of five? What do you think this movie needs? I More of I think uh, there's I think it gets real sappy near the end, and I don't think the Ghostbusters actually need that are the ones that help to beat the the bad guy because it kind of is like, oh man, everyone in New York is such dicks. I wish they could not be dicks, and then all of a sudden <laughs> they're not dicks. So. Yeah, they should have been, like, more celebratory of the people in New York City. Yeah, if you're going to start with that, if you're going to give us that at the end, it should have been a they should have a theme throughout the movie that people were just dicks. But that's that's my that's my biggest issue with this movie. 
In New York. Um, the only other thing, like I thought they could have shown, was how they changed the the purple goo to be positive. Because oh. they 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 said it charged. They had it charged with positive energy, but how did they charge it with positive they energy? They said that they they said earlier that they were connecting it with the brain. That's why at one point they had that, and they were sleeping with it. They were saying nice, reassuring things to this goo. Yeah, but. <laughs> They don't show you that. I would, they, they, it could have been like a three minute thing. They could have done a montage. Set to Ghostbusters. Bust it, mix me, feel good. good. I can't believe that song doesn't hype you up. Nope. Yo, I could do like open heart surgery if I heard that song. Oh, Lord. That is right. why Lewis is not a doctor. I'll say one of my news pieces, and then Tyler will do his thing, then I'll say my other one, and then I'll be then we'll be done. <laughs> Uh, news time with Elijah. <laughs> I don't uh, have music for that. You don't need to do it. So, the last DLC character for Smash was announced. Oh, you're such a piece. <laughs> <laughs> such, such a piece uh, of shit. I brought it. Stolen! I the, yeah, straight yeah, stolen. That's what you get when you don't watch the movie, Lewis. <laughs> I love that it was Sora. Love, love, love. I would have liked Crash Bandicoot a little more, but Sora would probably was my second best. My second best person. Followed by War Luigi or something. But. They were going to give you Waluigi. So. Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> it's bullshit. Why? And they would have wanted Why? Waluigi. I, what, what, so, what, what does so, War Luigi what so have, have to, to do offer with you? Uh, wait, did they do Kingdom Hearts for the DS? They are doing Kingdom. They did do Kingdom Hearts for the DS, and they are now re. They're now releasing all the Kingdom Hearts games for their 20th anniversary on the Switch. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When is Square Enix going to bring Final Fantasy? Other than the Crystal Chronicles. You can get Final Fantasy on there. You can get 8 on the Switch. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yep. You can get it digitally for the Switch, yeah. I, 12 is on the Switch? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I did not know that at all. Yeah, you can get a bunch of Final Fantasies on the Switch. I love That's Final Fantasy. That's why Cloud and Seth are in the game. Yeah. I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I don't know. I, <clears throat> well... I, like, I just feel like Waluigi was just robbed. I There are definitely DLC characters I think shouldn't have been in there, like Piranha Plant, and I'm okay with the Minecraft guy because Minecraft was this huge thing, and it takes years to develop a character, so I'm assuming that they had that in the really? pipeline of Minecraft. Years? Does it... it probably takes years to do that. I'm not a game developer. <laughs> I'm just assuming it, it that it takes a while. It could probably take them a good... How much time they put into it, like... Six to, six months to a year, mm. and to do all these DLC characters because you gotta you gotta create models and everything for that too. Well. And they gave you it, it's the biggest lineup in a fighting game ever. So yeah, it's definitely is this the final Smash? And, and it's the final DLC for this one. They could just have half of these guys already done, just waiting in queue. Like mm-hmm. we're gonna at this. It's this scheduled time, like release it, unless like there's a super huge demand for. Do you something. think they're gonna make another Smash for another system though? Yeah, the, there's definitely gonna be another one for the next big Nintendo launch. Like the next big Nintendo launch thing, the next the first title on there is probably a Smash game. I'm gonna get like I love Smash. They're fun. I like Smash Brothers. Lewis likes to Smash. I do. Likes to Smash because Busted makes them feel good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tied in. <laughs> Come on, Glimmer. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, Glimmer. Uh, Tyler, what is your what is your news? So I've talked about New World for a couple podcasts. I finally played New World. Um, I'm muted in game. I can't talk to anybody anymore. <laughs> Did the game that? actually mute. I got I got muted in the game. So Amazon has muted me. Uh, I was just gonna say how. Well, when you when you stand in the middle of town and chant the uh, about our Lord and Savior uh, Jeffrey Bezos uh, with your mic open, <laughs> and, then, and then when you're you're out chopping trees and every other tree you're yelling Timber! Our Lord and Savior Jeffrey <laughs> um, Bezos. <laughs> so it's got it, it open... tends to 
bother people, but I think what really did it, um, you have like three factions you can pick from. You have to align yourself with a faction because it's mostly a PvP game. Mm -hmm. um, so you got you... yellow faction, green faction, and purple <coughs> faction. I have a question. PvP is player versus player, correct? Yeah. Okay. So, like, all my friends... Uh, Marauder, picked... Syndicate, The Covenant. Yeah, or, or green, purple, and yellow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> also true. Green, green, purple... But to, get, but to actually give facts yellow. on a podcast, let's just do something. <laughs> they were facts. Green, purple, and yellow. Um, so I joined Team Purple with all my friends... Um, and I the think syndicate. what got me finally muted was, um, so all the resources are shared. Like, you, like if someone's mining something in front of me, I can't mine that resource. It disappears. So your friends muted you. No. The, I cannot talk verbally in the game to anybody. Oh, wow. So what, what had happened was, is somebody, too some, some random person from the green team was mining a rock. Uh -huh. And a wolf came up and bit him, so I stole their rock. <laughs> and they were like, really, dude? And I said, and my character's name is Bobby Blue Shoes. And I said, this is Bobby's rock. And then as I as I mined the rock, I ran away screaming, long live purple, motherfucker! <laughs> and and uh, today I logged in and I was muted. <laughs> Are you permanently muted? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's been punished. <laughs> Uh, Lord Bezos has punished me for my uh, actions. Are you allowed? To, are you allowed to be an asshole in the game, though? It's a game of being an asshole, but like there's there's you being there's, there's being an there's asshole, being an asshole there's and there's being, being an a downright degenerate being, like I was. <laughs> there's levels of asshole. <laughs> really, dude? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Long live purple. <laughs> oh, glimmer. <laughs> so, yes. um, but I've had fun in it, like. Uh, it's it's a lot of like there's a lot of different crafting you can do so like I think it's hilarious because normally when I play an MMO I am like fuck crafting I'm gonna go find someone who's gonna do this shit for me and then I'll I'll buy the materials <laughs> everything in this game I, I I I still give to someone to craft for me but I gather it so like I'll go I'll start in a town and it makes you run across like the whole freaking world to an objective Jesus so on my way to the objective mm -hmm. and while I'm doing the quest and on my way back from the objective I gather everything and usually by the time I get done with that my inventory is full and my guy can't really move anymore so I just teleport back to town and deposit it and then question is there leveling up like is there like a max level you right now like their max level is 60 is it extremely hard to get to that or is it pretty no I've, I've people I've had friends that like um, and they've not played all day, so like they've they've been able to do it in two weeks already. Jesus. Are you level sixty already? No, I um I have not played anywhere near as much as them because uh, you're muted. I'm muted. So you don't want to play because you're muted. Because uh, Jeff Bezos has punished me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daddy. Is he about the Fifty um, Shades of Grey? I kind of hope not. <laughs> it's gonna do what him might um, in the tent. <laughs> But, I uh, just can't quit you. There is uh, <laughs> Bezos. That's what Jeff Bezos says. <laughs> Bezos looks at. He's gonna put on his headset wait, 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 tomorrow with a Bezos. Bezos looks at Bobby Blue you. Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. It's Bobby Blue Shoes. Bobby Blue Shoes. Whatever. I just can't quit you, Bobby Blue Boots. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, there's a like a, a high Bobby tier. I think it's like level 200 is your crafting and gathering yeah. level. So there's like a lot of high tier different things you can gather and pick up. Um, and then the only other thing where I've caused trouble is uh, I've never tried so hard to get kicked out of a guild before. Um, so the the first day we were there, and like my, my running joke with Bobby was that Bobby was a dancer, not a fighter.
So, like, I'd run around saying I was dancing Bobby Blue Shoes, and I'd just dance in towns. Um, but, like, they... Our guild said that if anyone didn't come help them PvP, they were going to kick us out of the guild. So I said, Bobby's a dancer, not a fighter. <laughs> <I hate it. laughs> and I didn't get kicked. <laughs> uh, you should be like, Bobby's a lover, da- <laughs> Bobby's a lover and a dancer. <laughs> But, uh, so, like, later on, they were, they were, they were then, like, demanding people donate money, so then it wasn't, like, donating, um, but they were demanding people donate money so we could buy this town and, and, and own it so we could, like, increase our standing and, and things like that, and immediately when someone demands that I do something in a video game, I, I am, like, completely done. I'm like, nope, nope. This is this is this is Bobby's world. He's gonna make it how he wants to. <laughs> this is Bobby's. <laughs> I make the rules. So, um, so I told them I had already given to the church today. I was out of money. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, the church? I said, yes, our great Lord Bezos. I've already donated today. <laughs> I, I got two day shipping. Thank you, our Lord. <laughs> and then uh, they kicked my friend Richard and a couple other guys for being low level which I was and not being active which I also wasn't <laughs> and they and just didn't like, give a shit like they just left me in this game just just like, bro it's because they like Dr. Bobby Blue. I Boots. don't know what it was like no one talked to me <laughs> Dr. Bobby Blue. I, was, like, I would like talk to them and they would just straight up ignore me I know Dr. So, Bobby like, Blue. so like so like the, I, I, I ended up leaving um, and I, I told them when I left I said Guys, I'm leaving the guild. The severe lack of diddling has left me very disappointed in all of your efforts. Bobby Belushius has left the guild. <laughs> That's funny. I'm extremely now, sexually frustrated uh, in this game. Please. Do a lot of people play that game? Is that game pretty... Like, you know what I mean? Like, So, like, um... If you look on, like, TikTok, it, like, just type in, like, New World Q, and I'll, I'll put a video in our Stop our thing. trying to be hip. With your TikTok. Um, in the TikTok, well, that's like, you put the hashtag. That's, he looks at TikTok all the fucking time. Whoa. This is like 15 years younger. <laughs> but he can't remember who Slimer is. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> English is his second language. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Elijah. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's go, Dr. But, uh, Dr. Bobby Boo Boots. <laughs> Boo Boos. <laughs> Dr. Bobby Boo Boo. Uh, hey yeah, there, Dr. So Bobby like, Boo Boo. <laughs> I, I have a video of me like when we started the game of being in queue. Uh-huh. I got down to like 15 people and it fucking crashed. The same ranch. I gotta go to the Miller Earls. Oh, Earls ranch. There's a shark in the middle of there? Yellow claims something yeah. there. Brightwood? Really? Wow, they claimed the 25. No! For the two. Really? I sat in queue for like two hours to play this game on opening day, and it crashed on me. And I was like, "Well, guys, I'll see you later." I don't it's think been I'm play- real. I don't think I'm playing this game tonight. <laughs> it's been. What has real. it been since? Uh, it's gotten better. Like a lot of people have been like, I-, I figured what would happen is like a lot of people would want to play it, and it would be like, "This isn't the type of game I want to play because it's kind of toxic." Um, but I don't. I just have fun running around killing shit and gathering things, so I don't pay attention to chat. So can like, um, there's you can PVP, but you gotta you gotta flag yourself for it. You gotta say, hey, I want to get get absolutely ass raped by <laughs> five five other players <laughs> while I'm out mining a rock. Oh. oh, so like you gotta so you gotta tell people you want the smoke. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta you gotta consent. <laughs> That's funny. Now I have a question. Is this the first game where like you have an open mic where anybody can hear what the fuck you're no, saying? No, there's other other ones. Like you can you can have an open mic, you can have push the talk on, but there's been other games where that's a thing. And do people um, enjoy that? Like is everybody does, do a lot of people do open mic or not really? I, I, Everybody's no, enjoying Bob Blue Shoes. <laughs> well I got <laughs> muted, so like and I have only ever heard one person and the, the extent of what I heard from them was Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh <laughs> shit <laughs> And then they were gone. <laughs> They were prayed to the Lord Jeff Bezos. Lord Bezos ate him. <laughs> he was a sacrifice. Lord Bezos ate something on him. Listen. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> you will get him. But that's it. That's it. Bustin makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Jeffrey, Bezos. it's uh, it's it's been an entertaining thing. Uh, I probably I'm glad I didn't have to pay sixty dollars for a game like this. Um, or I probably would have never made it out of the closed beta. I had a refund of it before my two hours on Steam were up. <laughs> um, but uh, for, for what I paid, I'm like, I'm having fun with it for now. Uh, nice. Maybe maybe in the future they'll have some other things that make it more fun, but 
I give it a, a, a three out of five robot punches. All right. Wow. Wow. My last it's pretty plan. average. <laughs> Before Lewis tells us what movie he's picking for the Halloween movie is the Dragon Ball Super movie, the new one, Superhero. They released, they did a clip for New York Comic Con today, and they released their new animation style. And it is not my favorite animation style. Oh, really? No, it is not my favorite. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying it, to turn as far as I can. It doesn't look any different. Uh, let me click on the other thing. Also, I think the person that does is it Piccolo's like is it like CGI? It's kind of CG. See, that, uh, see, that's legit like a fight. Oh, uh, it's in that new wave. Yeah, it's in that new wave sort of thing. Oh, I don't like that either. No, I like don't like that, it. Like all these Netflix shows that are coming yeah. out, like like that new. I don't like that. Uh, uh-uh, I'm sorry. Can you um, whatever your name is, change it. Whatever your name is. But yeah, I, I'm still interested, but I'll watch it because it's Dragon Ball. But that's just me. All right. But Lewis, well, you're the final Halloween movie for the month. What? I swear to God, it's something like Bone Tomahawk. That's not Halloween. That's not a horror film. Yes, it was. That was a disturbing movie. It was a horror film for being bad. Um, I don't need it. So I got to figure it out. <laughs> So Lewis is gonna text us. <laughs> no, 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 I mean I have one, but I wanted to. I I rather do it off so that I can uh, ask if it's like, if we would follow the theme because it's. it's is a, it a horror, horror, horror movie? movie? It's just a horror movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll just. I mean, like, okay, we'll do it off. Mine mic. wasn't a horror movie. It was a comedy. We'll do it off, Mike. <laughs> All right. Everybody, we'll talk to you then. Uh, we can just add it on real quick, but it has to do, if it's possible, the movie has to do with a. A preacher that can transform into a T Rex. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> Is it Velocipastor? Yes! Yes! Oh yes! Velocipastor, baby! Why is that? Okay. I guess that's what we're doing. I already have my notes! <laughs> I already have my notes! Can't help. Can't help. It's gone off the rails. There's Velocipastor happening. Uh, oh god! Oh, oh god! Someone say Look, me. I think the only person at this table that is not, and, and Ken's not here, um, that is not going to enjoy this thing is Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel very strongly that Ken's gonna be like, this movie was fun. <laughs> can't help. Yeah, saw so it on Amazon. Saw so it on Amazon Prime, and I was like, I want to pick this movie. I was like, really Oh my bad. god, is he talking about Velocipaster? I was like, Oh god, we just talked about that movie the other week. Uh, Lewis, you've made my year. <laughs> Tyler didn't have to pick it. I didn't have. To he pick was going to pick it. Yeah. All right, Velocipaster, <laughs> it is everybody. Oh fuck! At least that'll make Ken happy. He was worried you were going to pick some really gory movie for him. No, no, no. This is actually. Uh, uh, Lacking in the graphics department. <laughs> I, I know. That's why it's going to make him happy. So, oh God, we've been the Posterman Podcast. Good night, everybody. Good, good, goodbye. Lost all control. But we didn't even do any of the the stuff. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> your turn to read, Lewis. Um, do your sexy voice. Uh, yes. Um, you can find the Posterman. Uh, at the the postermanpodcast dot com, email the postermanpodcast dot com, Twitter the posterman, Instagram the postermanpodcast, and if Mike Tyson is and listening, Facebook, please don't, please don't come kill us. The Posterman Podcast. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Please don't kill us, Tyson. Goodbye. <sighs>